Always great talking to you. And, you know, the question I always has uh, off the top is, what is it like for you, the program, the Toronto International Film Festival, knowing that you're going to be part of something that everybody's going to love and represents Canadian film? It's the most exciting, most rewarding job. I have to say I'm lucky. Uh, we watched this year a record, and by that I mean by quite a bit, record amount of Canadian features. Over 340 feature films were made in Canada this year and sent our way. We narrowed it down to, you know, 27 films. Uh, you know, the choices are hard, but when it's time on a day like today to re reveal them, and then it's September to finally, finally show them to audiences and know that this is the platform that can truly help and make a difference in the life of the film's interest internationally is the most rewarding thing possible. This may not be a fair question, but what do you think makes a Canadian film? I mean, technically, the filmmaker has to uh, be a citizen or resident of Canada, and the film has to be funded in Canada. What we look for, truly, obviously, is excellence, and we want stories that really reflect what Canada is. Uh, we have a very diverse uh, lineup of films. There's a very international uh, feel to the lineup this year, uh, which is something that totally represents Canada in many ways, or that at least we would like to believe represents Canada on the world stage. Uh, a ton of film by women, eight films, uh, eight feature films in the lineup, pretty much much half of the shorts are by women to uh, something that we believe reflect Canadian values. Uh, so to us, this is this is what we get to to project to the world, and our artists are the best people to speak of it. Okay, so let's get to some of the films. What are some that are standing out for you? They're all standouts, but what are some that will represent the rest? Yeah, uh, I'd love to point out to Wayne Wapimukwa's Luck Lucky, a really, really explosive film in some ways out of uh, Vancouver, narratively very, very imaginative. Uh, it tells the story of people on the fringe uh, in Vancouver during the 2010 Olympics. So it's basically like a very big contrast between the gold medals we're all chasing as societies and what we sort of accept to leave on the outskirts uh, of society. It's a very harsh look, but I think it's a look that's important to face as Canadians. Uh, we talk about our great values. I just spoke of them, you know, two minutes ago. But it's also important to not just um, revel in those and just be satisfied. We have to have harsh looks. Artists are the best at doing that. I'd like to point out to uh, another first feature, Ava, out of Montreal. She's an Iranian-Canadian director, Sada Farugi. Uh, entirely shot in Iran. Uh, the story is set uh, in Tehran and it's a young woman who lives an overly disciplined life. Society kind of encroaches on her uh, perhaps too much and she decides to slowly but surely live her life uh, on her own terms. It's one of the most beautifully crafted films uh, and the most astute sort of look at a young woman's life that we have in our lineup. It's fabulous. We got a lot to look forward to. When does this all begin for us? It all begins for real September 7th all the way to the 17th. It's going to be big. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.